Hey, what's up guys? Robbie Rowe here. Um, so I've been getting a lot of, I get a lot of questions, not, not lately, but just generally get a lot of questions regarding like drill progressions and hey, what are some drills that I can do or what's your favorite drill and so on and so forth. Um, so I wanna say like out of all of the, the particular progressions that are essentially like a tool in the toolbox that I use, I think the most beneficial progression is what I would call like um, a launching from stretch progression. So just to give you some background as far as like what does launching from stretch mean, I've done some stuff uh, in regards to the velocity enhancing move of how the entire system kind of works and, and each kind of movement influences the next movement. And then when you get down to your anchor point, this is when you would launch from stretch. So then the stretch position is obviously what we call like hip shoulder separation is being able to keep your trunk, keep your torso neutral throughout all of your you know, initial move, your drive leg mechanics, your hip rotation mechanics, and then your lead leg block mechanics. And then this is where you launch from stretch. So ideally when we come down to our anchor point, front foot strike, anchor point, full front foot strike, where you see the calf contracted, okay? Then you would want to see that the hips are into rotation, right? So you're putting yourself into a position to absorb that, that energy, right? And uh, we look kind of like maybe a 45 degree angle with our hips, but then we want to see that segmentation with the trunk neutral. So you can see that you're pressing the hips into rotation but your trunk is neutral. So we see a lot of guys with the inability to segment those two parts. So these kind of just start to move together. And by the time you anchor down, you're not really in a stretched position. That's when you kind of just go in to push the ball, right? So launching from stretch, making sure that you're launching and your arm action is being influenced by the trunk rotation. So just to give you another breakdown as far as the dynamic of what's happening here, when you launch from stretch, so let's just say when you get into your stretch position here, right? Trunk is neutral. What happens now is you put yourself into basically just optimal positions to do the next movement. Now, what optimal looks like in terms of lower body energy coming up the chain to then be absorbed by the upper body. So then the upper body and the arm, they don't have to independently generate any energy. They can just absorb and then rotate to then maximize all of the energy production from the very get go of the delivery, all right? So now coming all the way back to the drill progressions, launching from stretch. Now, the thing with a lot of guys that struggle with this is we need to then train the movement and get their brain to understand like this is what we want to do. You're training a new movement pattern, right? Pitching mechanics, the delivery, like all of these components of the delivery, they're they're just, they're just your brain perceiving a particular movement. So we want to feed in as much efficient movement content <laughs> to be absorbed by your brain to download that to then recognize new movement patterns. So launching from stretch, I would say the basic kind of, there's a couple different steps. The basic principle is to get your body accustomed to maybe this uncomfortable feeling of being in a stretch position, hips at 45 degrees, open, trunk neutral. Now you'll see a lot of kids who actually struggle with segmentation because they don't have the, the movement capacity to do so. So then you gotta make sure that if you're one of those athletes or you're one of those instructors working with that athlete that you take the necessary steps to open up that capacity. More often times than not, the brain is kind of uh, monitoring that as a threat because you haven't owned that movement. Thoracic spine mobility. Step one, launch from stretch. You get into this position. I would say for guys just starting out, breathe for 10, get comfortable. And then it's as simple as with a baseball, a plyo ball, whatever. Uh, I'll get into the med ball progressions here shortly. I actually love, I'll start with that. I love starting guys with med ball progressions because you take the thought of a throw out of the equation. And a lot of guys, when they think throw, they just revert to bad patterns um, right from the get go. So to be honest, I would say, and I do this with a lot of my clients, is just start with the med ball progression, right? So get into your, long, your stretch position and then you can keep your med ball kind of like here and, and force it back. I tell a lot of guys to initiate your trunk counter rotation by thinking, maximum retraction, but not getting to the point where now you're trying to force retraction, trying to force trunk counter rotation, 
and you'll see what happens with guys is they'll increase range of their trunk counter rotation, but then this will start to go like this. And with guys, a lot of times in the very, very beginning of these, these drill progressions, what they'll start doing with their back foot is they'll start to turn it to get their heel connected to the ground because that's their perception of power, right? So you don't wanna do that because we're taking away the first four or five steps of the delivery and we're literally just getting the brain to understand why or when we wanna then launch. So with our med ball progression, we get into our stretch position and for the first one, you just keep front foot connected to the ground, right? You keep anchor and then you just go rock forward a little bit, rock back a little bit, don't lose your hip rotation and then go and maximize your, your hip extension of the rear leg. Meaning when you go here, don't go, right? You're gonna launch and you're gonna get hip extension. Okay, so the second part of that med ball progression you do the same thing and then lift off. So it's like a rocker, lift off with the lead foot, boom, anchor down, launch. Now we in a little bit movement for the brain to go, okay, when we're through space, when we lift and we disconnect that lead foot, we still have to keep our trunk neutral, right? Just because we lift off doesn't mean the trunk starts to go with the hips, right? So we focus on keeping the trunk not counter rotated so much, but just keeping it neutral, right? And then going. Then you can tease in plyo throws or, or even just baseball throws. I, I have my, my clients play catch like this for the first few, okay? Because when we look at separation, guys, I think studies show 80% of our velocity comes from this. So like this is one of those pieces that we really got to hammer down, right? Like we can do all the other drill progressions for other components of the delivery, but when it comes to this, like, this is your money maker, right? Gotta have this one, gotta have this one, okay? So we get into our stretch position, same thing with the ball, preset your hands, and then the first one, keep connection with that lead foot, right? Keep anchored, throw, okay? Then your second step, same thing, okay? So what you'll see, some mishaps that guys kind of fall into, is when they go to lift, right? They're not really accustomed to owning this, essentially this split stance kind of uncomfortable position. So when they lift, you'll either see them fall this way or them fall this way, or like I said before, the trunk will, will go early. So just keep, out, keep an eye on those, those particular movement compensations. Um, and then just make sure that the athlete, like I said in the beginning, is like you wanna get them into this position and just start to breathe and control breath, right? You wanna turn off that fight or flight response. Parasympathetic, sympathetic, right? So you can get your brain to understand like this is an okay movement, we're not in a threat, right? And then so it can get into that full speed because look, man, like if you're not gonna be able to own that in a super controlled environment, in a setting, then how are we supposed to get into that when we're going at full speed on a mound in a game, right? So that's my thing is like, let's get these movements, let's own these movements in a very controlled setting and then start to progress, okay? So that's, that's the launching from stretch. Like I said, when we anchor down, this is when we wanna start to launch everything because now we can absorb that lower body energy, block that energy up. Now you can launch your arm, right? You can initiate your throw with more acceleration because now you have the acceleration that's being produced from the kinetic energy. Then you have the acceleration rate that's gonna be produced by keeping your trunk neutral from this point to then full rotation. That's, that, think about that as, as acceleration. Whereas like if your trunk moved early, you're from here to there rather than from here to there, right? Then on top of all of that, you have the natural arm speed. I say this all the time, like arm speed isn't from the arm. It's just about sequencing movements super efficient and on time, okay? So hopefully that helped and, um, and encourage you guys to try that out.